and welcome to another FS25 preview. This time we're looking at one of the other new crops in the game, which is rice and also long grain rice. So we've got both types coming into the game. So all of these we've got in more detail shortly, but let's see what we've got here. So we've got different water levels between the two, different machines to sow and harvest, and of course different seeds. So long grain rice isn't sown in water, like ordinary rice. So it gets flooded after sowing, not before. Obviously to uh, some people this is common knowledge, but to those of us who have not been involved in rice cultivation, it's all very new. So the rice paddies themselves, so they are created from the build menu. So instead of just placing down the field, we can actually build them in any shape or form, which is a good way of doing it. Certainly a lot better than placing it down in grid fashion. We've got our greenhouses, so we can buy saplings at the dealership for ordinary rice, or we can build special greenhouses dedicated to the cultivation of rice seedlings, or saplings as they've called them there. Planting and harvesting rice, so ordinary rice, we are transplanting the seedlings and then using the purpose built rice harvester. So the rice harv fields are pre limed when you build them, which is why we don't need to apply lime in the beginning. Activate the water pump to flood the field, then plant the rice saplings and the planter takes care of fertilisation so we don't need to add any additional fertiliser. The correct amount of water is automatically added and we just need to check the water daily and maintain the level. When the rice is mature, harvest and decide whether to sell it, store or process it. To grow another batch of lime with, uh, rice we've then got to apply lime to the field and cultivate it after harvesting. Lime is only needed after a few harvests, so as per other versions of the game, just check the field info and see if we need to do it. With long grain rice, however, we just sow the seed into the field. After we've sown it, we then flood the field and need to maintain different water levels at different growth stages. But the pump will take care of just how much we need. Again, we've got to maintain the proper level by checking the pump regularly. Once the plant is ready to harvest and all the water is gone, we just use a standard combine and grain header as per any other cereal crop. Sell it, store or process it again. And to cultivate another batch, just apply lime to the field and cultivate the paddy with the cultivator. Growth stages we'll look at in a moment. So when it comes to rice, we've got our build menu here. So it's showing 1500 there to build. And as we can see, we've got I just had to add a corner, remove last corner, change height, grid snapping and alter the camera. You can see we're applying lines around the area field we want to turn to paddy. You can see how it's working there. So if you start in that corner, just work your way around. The finishing line is going to end up at our last point we've placed. We've got our greenhouses here, should we wish to raise the seedlings ourselves. So imagine if you're doing a lot of them, it's going to be the most cost effective way. And we've got our rice planter. So there's one of the dry paddy fields. Should then flood using the pump. 
using our purpose built rice planter there to do the fertilizing and the planting followed by the Aiziki rice harvester and of course as it said if we need to do again we may need to add lime to the field to grow another crop so we've got our seedling stage second growth stage third ready to harvest being this one harvested followed by withered and just to sum up our growth stages there so maximum yield per hectare is 13,200 litres on easy setting $3,300 156 litre seed per hectare 4 months growth duration planted in April, May and harvest during August and September now long grain rice however we're sowing into a dry field applying fertilizer ourselves then flooding the field with the pump and we're going to have to monitor regularly as the crop grows maintain the correct water level which of course says the pump will do automatically so you can't over flood your field you see it's saying 51% water there so we can either empty or flood as required see if you empty it too soon I would imagine you're going to lose your crop then we're straight into harvest with a standard combine in this case it's the S7 800 John Deere they're showing here we've got our growth stages again so early stages with the field flooded growth stage 2 third one ready to harvest harvested and withered so 18,000 litres a hectare of long grain rice $1589 on easy 500 litres seed a hectare five month growth duration planted in April and harvested in September so that's our rice and long grain rice so that's where I'll be leaving this video thanks to Giants for the early access to this material to get this video put together if you'd like to support the channel please do so by using the GAV8080 partner code on the Giants shop but for now I'll say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one Goodbye for now.